What is up guys, Wawa here and I'm back with another beginner friendly guide for Rocket Arena. And in this video, I want to explain a bit how the shooting mechanics of each heroes work. All of the heroes in Rocket Arena are unique. Some heroes have very basic and self-explanatory shooting mechanics while others might require a quick google search before you figure out how their rockets actually work. Note that I will only be talking about each character's primary attack. Well, except for one. A more character focused guide will come out sometime in the near future. Let's start off with the simple ones. Jado's shooting mechanics is pretty self explanatory. He uses a single fire rocket launcher that has 6 ammo capacity and has a decent sized hitbox. His rockets travel fairly fast and usually hits to where your crosshair is, but since this is a projectile shooter game, make sure to lead your shots when an opponent is far away. Izel's shooting mechanics is pretty similar to Jado's. She has a single shot spear tip launcher that has 8 ammo capacity and has also fairly sized hitbox. The spear rockets also used to travel a lot slower but since the recent update, they travel a just a tad bit slower than Jado's rockets. Blastbeard also uses a single shot cannon but his cannon doesn't have max capacity so you can spam cannonballs to your heart's content. The thing with Blastbeard's cannonballs is that they eventually arc down after a short travel distance. Make sure that you are aiming slightly above your opponent whenever you fire shots. The further the opponent, the higher you'll need to aim. Mistine's primary fire works in a sequence. Every third shot, she fires out three rockets simultaneously. Try to maintain a headcount to keep track of when the three shot will come out. 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. Leaf's rockets are fast and travels in a spiraling straight line. Every 4 hits you land will fully charge your beam that does a ton of damage. The charge beam is one of the only two hitscan attacks in the game. Keep an eye on your crosshair as it will indicate how far you are from a full charge. Rev uses a double barrel rocket launcher that rapidly fires rockets in a straight line. The hitbox on these rockets are small and the travel speed is pretty average. Her primary fire isn't really her main damage dealing attack but we'll talk about that in a different video. Same thing with Plank. His pea shooter rapidly fires mini rockets that can stun lock opponents. If Plank is close enough to an opponent, the mini rockets actually becomes homing rockets. When your crosshair turns red, that means that your opponent is in range for you to launch these mini homing missiles. Kai is one of two characters in this game that uses charge shots as her primary attack. Her no charge and full charge arrows travel at the same distance and speed. Both also arcs downward, but that is after a decent travel size. Full charge shots do more damage, has splash damage, and has a bigger hitbox compared to no charge shots. Amphora's primary works very similarly to Kai's. Amphora's bubble shots charge a bit slower, but the hitbox on the full charge is a bit larger. Boon uses a shotgun as his primary and has a sniper as his secondary. Both are very good when used at the appropriate distances from the enemies. Boon's bullet missiles actually bounces off walls, grounds, and ceilings, and after they bounce, these bullet rockets actually gain a soft homing to them. Top Notch has a grenade launcher that launches grenades that could be remotely detonated or not. To remotely detonate, hold the primary fire button after launching the grenade and then release the button when you're ready to detonate. And last but not least, Flux. Flux has probably the most unique primary attack in the game. Her rockets are bouncing guided rockets that can be guided after launch. You'll need to guide these rockets to your target using your crosshair, and since you only get 3 of them before the need to reload, you'll need to make each one of them count. And that's it for this video, hope you guys find it helpful. I'll be uploading more beginner friendly guides in the future so be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I also stream this game every day around 9.30am Eastern Time so do drop by when you get a chance. Anyways, that's it, I am out.